Okay, so um, Roblox messed up again. And uh, this is like the fifth time this year. But anyways, basically, Roblox added some new TOS. Uh, some new rules to their TOS. And um, players are not happy about it. And it's, it's reached headlines and stuff. Oof, the Twitter kids. They're ruthless. They're, they're ruthless like they always are. So, um, yeah. Roblox added new rules to their TOS. And some of the most popular Roblox games break these rules. So... Let's just, I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the rules in this TOS and then bring up some games that break the rules in these TOS. And basically, the community is questioning what does this mean for some of the most popular Roblox games like Natural Disaster, Mimic, The Mimic, Adopt Me, and Royal High, all this other stuff, the Squid Game games and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, the first rule is depictions of real world tragedy. Roblox prohibits content that depicts or references real world tragic events, mocks the victims of such events, supports, glor supports glorifies, or promotes the per perpetrators or capitalizes on these events for commercial purposes. Real world tragic events include mass shootings and domestic terrorism, natural disasters, human or civil rights violations. Holy crap, I, I can't, I couldn't read that first part to save my life. But anyways, basically, this whole... This rule, and like the other two, like mass shootings and domestic terrorism, some things are not meant to be, you know, put in game form, like for somebody to try to experience it, because those real world events were, of course, they were very tragic and traumatizing to a lot of the victims of said event, and people, a lot of people have died from those things. Human or civil rights violations, I don't see why anyone would want to make a game about marching to marching for civil rights I, I don't see why somebody would want to make a game about it but yeah that that too doesn't need to be depicted in a game form because other, let's be honest a civil rights a civil rights marching game would be so boring but anyways natural disasters that game well that rule in itself is like there's no point in t in telling people not to do it because Natural disasters happen all the time, and of course, yeah, some people die from natural disasters, like California fires, a freaking earthquake, uh, something like that. But like at the same time, it's like it's not really traumatizing. It's just like it happens all the time. See now, mass shootings and domestic terrorism, human or civil rights violations, those don't happen all the time. So yeah, those things would be traumatizing, and they would be just be out of the blue. And that ga and games like that don't deserve to be made. But a game like Nat Survive the Natural Disasters, it's fun to play because you get put in a situation where it's like, oh, just survive this disaster. You're not being traumatized from it. It's just a Roblox game about surviving disa natural disasters. Roblox was so bad about it. Like, don't 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 ban the game just because it portrays natural disasters, my boy. Like rain, acid rain, that doesn't happen on Earth much. It happens. I'm pretty sure it happens it happens somewhere, but it doesn't happen on Earth much. Earthquakes, tornadoes, tsunamis, they're not really traumatizing. It's just like it's it happens all the time, my boy. Like what's wrong with the game portraying natural disasters? So that rule complete well not completely garbage, it's that rule it makes sense, but the natural disasters part just needs to be taken out because it just doesn't make sense. Harmful off platform speech and behavior. Robloxians treat everyone with respect, both on and off of Roblox. If reported to us, we may disable the account of users who are associated with organized crime, terrorist organizations, or hate groups, harass, bully, and discriminate, or harm others outside of Roblox, share others' personal information off-platform, including making false reports to authorities. Yeah. So, this rule... It makes sense. It people who are part of terrorist groups, hate groups, crime groups, the mafia, uh, <laughs> they deserve to be banned off of Roblox because it's like, why would Roblox want to associate? Like, it's just like, why would they? They shouldn't be on Roblox. Huh? That's all I gotta say. Uh, harassment, bully, or discrimination to harm others off of Ro outside of Roblox. Um. This rule makes sense as well. Nobody should be discriminated amongst. Share others' personal information off-platform, including making false reports to authorities. Makes sense. But 
this rule is vague as well because what if out of nowhere somebody tweets and calls someone stupid for a joke, you know? And the person that they call stupid takes it not as a joke. Is Roblox just going to ban that person's account, disable that person's account? Just make it make sense, Roblox. Like, just please add some exceptions so that we know what to do and what not to do. Because if it's in a joking way and we get banned, that's going to make the whole community mad, okay? Intellectual property violations. We don't allow users to violate intellectual property rights on Roblox and will remove infringing content upon receiving a valid Digital Millennium Copyright Act, DMCA for short. Notice of trademark infringement removal requests. Examples of intellectual property infringement include using another developer's code to create your experience. Makes sense. Using another artist's music in your experience. Makes sense. Using a brand's logo or designing your content for the content you design. There's games out there that use that, and I'm going to get into that. Using Roblox name, logo, or other designs both on and off the platform. Roblox. <laughs> this one is dumb because my Roblox character, this, this affects me. My Roblox character uses one of your shirts that you have on the marketplace. And it's, I don't, and um, that's on your platform. And it's using your logo on your platform on somebody else. So tell me, Roblox, will I be banned for using your shirt that you put on the store for people to use? You know? Um, also, games out there that use um, other brands' logos. There's a game out there called Vans World, and it's a, it's a skating game. But in that game... The, like, image for it, is, it has a Vans logo on it. And also, uh, the characters in the game wear Vans. And when you go to buy Vans, they have a lot of Vans in that game. So, tell me, Roblox, will that game be banned? Because that game is actually kind of fun to me. I'm pretty sure that game will be banned, though. Because it uses another brand's logo. And as they just said in this rule, using a brand's logo or designs for your content, for the content you design, is prohibited. So, bye bye Vans World. Okay, next rule is about Robux. And we all know how I feel about Robux. Roblox economy. Roblo Roblox maintains the Robux system for everyone's benefit and enjoyment to keep it secure. Some uses of Robux are not permitted, including promotions or promotional codes that promise Robux or digital codes, like digital goods that exist outside of, th of the experience or that appear to be offered by Roblox itself. Selling, trading, or giving away Robux game codes or experience digital goods outside of Robux. Roblox. Uh, this rule sucks as well, even though it's not highlighted. Inappropriate use of the of the group payout system, including offering payment in Robux for acting as a model for assets, joining groups, referring members, or role-playing in experiences. Okay, this these f bottom two rules. Selling and trading or giving away Robux. Selling... In trading Robux, you guys sell Robux. See, now trading Robux, that's something's wrong with that because mm, actually, no, nothing's wrong with that because you could just trade a Robux code. Nothing, what's wrong with trading a Robux code or giving away Robux codes? YouTubers give away things all, all the time. See, if it's a fake giveaway, I could see what they would mean by it, if it's a fake giveaway, but if it's a real giveaway, then I see no problem with it. Or Offering payment in Robux for acting as a model for assets. So people who get paid, basically people who get paid in Robux for voice acting or modeling as an asset in a game. Basically, they don't want you to pay your assets in Robux. Which, by the way, they're saying they're not going to pay developers at all, which is crazy to me. So what's wrong with paying people in Robux? They're getting something out of voice acting or something like that, you know? just doesn't make sense to me this rule is very they, they contradict themselves because they sell robux themselves in codes and giveaways i see no problem with twitter code giveaways because if a youtuber wants to just give away codes or somebody just wants to give away a robux code see if it's a fake giveaway i see i see a problem in that but if it's a real giveaway i see zero issues in that so like robot roblox what's What's going on here? And this whole rule about you guys not paying developers, I heard that as well. I don't have any screenshots of it, but somebody told me, oh, they're not going to pay developers anymore either. And that's just why people spend 
put time into their games. Why they should get something out of it, you know? Just Roblox, please fix your TOS. And anyways, that's all I have to say about it. These TOS, these terms of service is are, are just it makes zero sense and they're very vague and Roblox clearly needs to fix some things up. But um anyways, that's my opinion on the whole situation. Um it's a pretty messed up situation for Roblox themselves, but the community is just like wow, Roblox just slapped us all in the face. But anyways, um later